So everyone, welcome to the 2020 part two. Now in the first series of this presentation, I was shared with you 20 web tools that I was using in, in my PE classroom and enjoying. So here is part two, and hopefully you can uh, find something that you haven't used before and perhaps work out how it might apply to you. The first tool I want to share with you is PictoChart. Now PictoChart is fantastic because it lets you create infographics, infographics being the hot property of the internet these days. In a matter of minutes you can piece together a really interesting chart that actually makes your data um, the key and, and most impressive factor and it does it in a way that actually makes it engaging for the students and for those reading the charts and information. We've used it to share information on cyber safety. Recordmp3.org is a really easy way to record an mp3 file and share that with someone um, in a matter of seconds and the best thing is you don't actually have to need to install any software um, you can just simply hit the record button and do your recording and you're left with a really easy and shareable mp3 file Spreaker is like record mp3 however you actually set up like a show and when you hit the record button you actually go live on air and anyone can sort of tune into that particular show and hear what's happening so what a fantastic way to have your students basically broadcast their their class or their activities live Evernote is something that I've had installed for years but never really took advantage of it is basically the way to remember everything online so I've been using Evernote to as my basically my notebook for a variety of things. I'm keeping student records in Evernote, I'm keeping meeting notes, and I'm clipping everything across the web and capturing it. Bingo Baker is really cool. So everyone loves to play a bingo game, but with Bingo Baker you can set up um, a bingo board in a matter of minutes, and that bingo board is then uh, accessible online, and anyone who hits that URL that you've set up gets a randomly um, set up bingo board and it's fantastic for presentations and engaging the audience um, and really cool check this is is a really fantastic way to to set up a website in a matter of seconds that makes you really want to check this so that's the idea behind the website in a matter of minutes you can add YouTube clips um, links from the web pictures and videos and text to create a really fanciful sort of um, home page that's based on the content um, in a matter of moments Storybird is fantastic. It, it gives you some really impressive art background pieces that you can then put your own text and create a story around. Our students in PE have used them um, and told stories about the energy systems via these impressive little um, artist inspired drawings that artists submit to the site and then people use. Tag My Doc is a really cool way to um, put a QR code. Um, basically that links to a document that you set so simply you can upload your WordPress doc your Word document your PowerPoint and so on and it'll produce a QR code that you can then um, use and place on the document and scan it and it takes you to that doc so it deals with the hosting QR vo voice is a cool website that allows you to have a QR code say um, words basically to effect so scan the code and it will speak out the text that you actually include inside the box and it will do it in a certain um, language or or in a certain speed depending on what you like great for activities and treasure hunts zygote body used to be google body however it's now um, the same thing but released um, by this company Zygo. It allows you to do 3D tours of the human body and you can switch off different layers and actually get a feel for what's happening across different um, types of body systems and so on in 3D view. It's fantastic. Pixton is do-it-yourself comics as, as they call themselves. It's a fantastic way to share information on any topic, have students create a comic and Pixton is fantastic in that it actually gives you in many cases sort of set topics and set scenes and then you, it's up to you to actually piece together the text that would apply to that particular scene. Time Toast, really cool way to do timelines so you actually can easily and interactively put in the different times and dates and so on across a given time span and people can then add videos and embed images and all sorts of cool stuff to make this really impressive time span across the ages. Really cool to look at maybe the Olympics and how different things have approved. Croquet, a really easy way to share your voice 
across the interwebs. Basically, you go to the Crocker website, you hit the record button, say what you want to say, or have your students say what you want to say, and it will produce you a shareable link that can be shared via social media or via a URL. It can also be used and accessed via smartphones. Socrative is absolutely fantastic. Visit the Socrative website and set up a teacher room. You are then given um, a, a passcode which you give to your students and they log in as a student using your passcode. You can then ask verbally verbally ask questions and the students answer them via the Socrative interface on either their phone or the website. Answer Garden is a cool little tool that is basically like collaborative brainstorming exercises and the cool thing is you can answer the ask the question and the students then put their responses on via your page and all the responses appear um, on the central page and can be shared on a presentation board or so on. Um, Tag Galaxy is fantastic. Obviously you can create word clouds that looks something like this. So rather than using Wordle and actually having, um, you know, simple word clouds, you can actually have them follow shapes. And obviously, this map of Australia here is then has information about Australia inside of it. So it's pretty cool. Wonderlist is something I am absolutely in love with at the moment. I use it for keeping track of the things that I have to do. It has been the death of post-it notes, and every time I see a post-it note um, on someone around me, I rip it off. And I say, have you thought about using Wonderlist because it's so much better? So you can have your phone sync with all your other devices and create lists and then have nice um, organization. Vialogs is the great combination of video and discussion. So you can use YouTube clips or your own videos, upload them, and then make them accessible for discussion. And it really captures the discussion around a particular video. So as opposed to just watching it in class and doing a verbal discussion, you can actually capture the discussion of everyone. S'more is a really cool, interesting site to create A4 posters or billboards or um, act and, and really actually capture these really fantastic looking posters in a matter of minutes and share them across the interweb. So we've had students use them just to promote their activities and things that they're doing around the school and it makes them look so much better than the traditional A4 um, poster. Doodle is something that I think all people in education need to be, um, be able to use. Fantastic way to schedule meetings with people across a varied amount of times. You can then send it to everyone and they select the times that suit them and as you can see here all the greens represent um, the best times for them. There is 20 tools, 20 slides, 20 seconds per slide. Hopefully you can find something that you might like to explore. Thank you.